Hey, so welcome to today's live. Uh, hopefully this new place is not too loud for you. <laughs> uh, I had to change it because my son is asleep after no nap. So uh, today's uh, basically a continuation of yesterday's PR. Uh, we, we sent this PR for IX path of completion. It's been like this for like, I guess, four consecutive lives, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I left this comment to Jose Valin to, because the, the long story short, I did the PR, he did a refactor on master and then I had to rebase it. And I realized that his refactor introduced a, sh a change on the auto completion behavior that made my code actually fail. And I was not sure if the, the change on behavior is actually expected and we would not care for that kind of change of behavior or if we actually should, should fix it. So I mentioned him and asked uh, what should we do, right? So he says, yeah, uh, I think the ref the refactor that he did, we should check for path of completion first. So never mind the change on behavior. And yeah, that's the first thing uh, we are going we are going to do. Uh, check for auto completion first, right? I'm going to just do that. That's the first thing. Uh, here we have everything like <laughs> as we left off yesterday because today is holiday in Brazil and. <laughs> We do not, uh, I didn't work, so <laughs> my terminal is untouched. So for those who didn't listen to, hey, Josué, uh, if you didn't listen to, to the last live, you probably, uh, we are catching up where we left off that time. So basically what we are going to do is to, to uh, the first thing we should do is to reverse, to check, to, to try to expand the path first and the code after that and that's it like that's the change that Jose Valin asked me to do like to, to actually check path auto completion first and with with that actually my test should actually pass right now let me just compile this file that I changed and run the autocomplete test itself and yeah yeah all my tests passed so I'm going to, why that? Let me just, um, git ignore, global git ignore actually. Do you know this global git ignore? Uh, it should, it should be on global git ignore, I guess. Then it's just a matter of make and oops I closed my browse my actual terminal I thought I was on a teamwork session <laughs> yeah here uh, so back here now it's okay temp is actually not going to to bother us so my change here would be that one. That's the first change. So Josué, if you want to, to actually know, explaining what I'm doing. Hey, Mijar. Cool, cool. Thank, thanks for joining us today. Um, so uh, this, this pull request is going to add the path auto completion to IX. So like this today on the normal IX, if you open a string like, oops, I just changed to my wrong layout of it. If you do auto comp if you do hit, uh, you start like a path and hit tab, it's not going to auto complete the path for you, right? And what we are introducing with this PR is this. So if you start a string with a path and hit tab, it's going to auto complete to your, uh, to your stuff. So workflows, CI, so I can get this and file.read, for example. 
so that's that's a lot better to work with files in local like scripting would be um, my audio not sure can you hear me like Josue can you confirm it's if it's okay or not I mean I checked and it looks fine I'm not sure how is it going to you so yeah I mean GR I guess it's your audio that's <laughs> crappy today <laughs> not mine so continuing uh, Josue explaining uh, so yeah that's that's the feature that we are adding and it's the feature as you saw it's done but we keep doing these small adjustments uh, stack and perf I do something the Evelyn suggests something <laughs> but yeah that's that's how it works with uh, open source I'm gonna commit just this change checking the pep actually checking doing pep auto completion first right this is the first thing we we do expand the pep and if it does return something we just go ahead and if it doesn't we expand the code actually uh, maybe on expand path instead of doing this in here I will do this out here so expand code and if not path then expand path I'm just refactoring a bit because I think it's better this way so here Best fragment, not the code. So expand path here is expects the the actual path already. So I just check in here instead of checking in there, returning a new uh, a new tuple to then discard this tuple. I'm just checking it straight, like the path fragment. And if there's no path fragment, I go straight to to expand code. But if there is any span, uh, any I do, then uh, expand the path, try to expand the path. So yeah, this is it, even better. I'm going to amend actually, because I think this way is better. All right, but that's not the only thing. He said, yes, I think we should shed path of the completion first, uh, but then he keep going. <laughs> Uh, the thing about using uh, dot slash or just slash like a, an open string with dot slash or just slash as it starts is, is really nice because uh, those are not valid elixirs. So if we have any open string like this uh, with dot slash or slash as the following characters, we know that this is surely like most probably uh, the the actual uh, a, a path auto completion right so for path auto completion I'll perhaps do something like this so start going back collecting our characters until we find something like this which is a relative path like this the absolute path like this and then ignore right or like this and also ignore because it should be ignored when we oh if the expression is empty of course it should be ignored too so this suggestion is related to this path fragment function this path fragment function actually is the function that does what he says there but instead of considering uh, just these two cases as valid paths we are ex uh, extracting any open string uh, so if we do something like this uh, it's trying uh, like this it's trying to 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 actually expand the path for te and it's not going to work because I have to start like this oh maybe yeah here this works you know so it's trying to to complete so 
uh, Valim's suggestion is that in that case it should not autocomplete, right? Basically, yeah, it should only autocomplete for this or this. And yeah, and if it's there any other uh, interpolation inside the string, we can't autocomplete because basically we don't know what else is going to be printed there, right? So he even, uh, he suggested other things I'm going to do after, but he even started doing some work here. Um, I'm not sure if this is right, but yeah. Uh, his idea is basically that path fragment returns uh, this non relative or absolute uh, paths, right? So, but, oh yeah, he just named it wrong, like the collect path fragment here. But, basically, This is the code that he pasted there. It should be named collect, collect path fragment. So it goes on if the list is empty, if it do does none, which is basically this, right? If there is any interpolation, it's none also. So it's this. Uh, so if there is any escaped string, I'm not sure if he meant to actually do this, I'm going to guess he didn't and leave it like it was before in here. <laughs> yeah, use, use headphones in jar, come on. So, and then here, if he finds, uh, uh, his code actually is not going to, <laughs> it's, kind of funny to say that, but his code is not actually going to work because we still have to actually check the path fragment here or discard it to, to actually check if it is an open string. Otherwise, uh, his own example is not going to work. Like his example like this is going to, to think all of this is a path, you know? Or maybe not, actually. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try out. Let's compile his changes. Uh, it's going to have warnings. Because return and discard are not used, but yeah, as I, I suspected. Oh, right. Actually, that fragment here, I have to fix this none. Um, I'm going to ignore the first one, but maybe we, we should take care of it, like to expand relatives and absolute paths differently. So, recompile and retest. So yeah, it didn't actually work as expected. Oh, mostly because I, I, I actually have a test that tests the, the dot completion only, and it's not going to work. It should be something like this. Why not? Is it not complete? Yeah, uh, his code doesn't work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he probably coded that on GitHub straight, so he's not to blame here. All right, so <coughs> how are we going to do this? How are we going to test? I'm going to like open this, just remove. Uh, 
recompile and right so the code should autocomplete for this and it's not doing the auto completion right why Actually, i have this string here on reverse i know it's and I think we should still return the the accumulated stuff like this because yeah let's see and it's going to still Why? Oh, yeah. All right. I actually, I can do exactly what he says. Oops. But then I have to change the path, expand path code here to actually there's the relative and the so the possible path this this here is going to try to expand the to do a elasticity not, not sure if we actually should do it this way here let's do it like that I return the accumulator with the actual slash dot so this is just slash right this slash and uh, the rest of the accumulator and this is dot slash yeah, dot slash the other slash and the accumulator then it should work it's not going to work yeah but then for dot it's going to not work right none why none all right this is it All right, I can actually, I guess, let's, let's just leave it there first and test the elixir here. And test the auto-completion code. And it still doesn't auto-complete. Why? Mm, slash. So the path fragment is going to extract something which is not going to be empty, right? This is not empty. Oh. <laughs> Actually, should have the slash. This is not an empty list, 
So it's going to try to extend the path and it's going to go through the previous so and have I have it saved here path dot pure name p dot six from here So it's going to make it empty. The prefix from dot here is going to make it empty because the dot, uh, it's a dot and it starts with dot something. So if the dear, so it's going to do it something like this. Uh, empty string. this prefix from dear so if path dear name is just a dot right it's going to call here just it is just a dot and the second param the fragment starts with a dot I know and it doesn't start with a dot then it returns empty Yeah, I'm starting to think uh, Joseph Aline is right, as probably he always is. And it's better to return this absolute and relative path separately, because I am suspecting this prefix from dear was something that Frank did to actually support relative and absolute paths on the same pull request, like on the same uh, routine, same function. So I'm just not sure why, like why if the path dear name that was given. Hey Kim Kurono, yay, beleza? Uh, welcome back. <laughs> so if this dot, if the, the, the path dear name is actually dot, which is like this directory I'm in right now. Oh, my, my mic is too low. Maybe here right now. Is it better? I, I actually can't make it <laughs> higher than that. <laughs> hey, Mijar. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Kin. Thanks. Uh, uh, it's continuing. So... I'm just not sure why this prefix from deers. Because file ls. Mm. Oh, actually, never mind. Here, prefix. That's joining the prefix. All right. All right. It's just this is just getting the the prefix to actually remove the prefix from all the the things that uh, all the the actual uh, the all the list like the whole list of the the completions like the suggestions. So. All right, hmm. prefix from dear. So, and it's going to filter the ones that start with path fragment. Why? Sure, why? So, path fragment is the P. So everything that starts with 
this is going to be removed from this list and path join the prefix is going to be added to all the items here so our prefix is nothing that's starting to I'm starting to want it so yeah this is it let me unprivate this one too actually even better path fragment I'm going to IO inspect it out of the way that that way it's better um, compiling in IX so if I do this and hit tab it should inspect it so yeah it says it didn't find any possible paths for it so I know the problem is here as I suspected uh, but why let me inspect this iodo inspect the list here I guess how is it it's uh, bindings yeah I think I'm not sure if I even able to do this like to actually check all the variables but in a ex so yeah oh the deer is just a slash I did hit on dot slash so anyways the fragment is in reverse like it's it's reversed here why list to string that's really strange it happens inside the xpm List oh. list to string test. It didn't reverse it because this function, the path fragment, actually collects everything and reverses. So, and you can see that the deer is this, but it actually got the, the slash dot. But what is the other path fragment? Uh, I guess the path fragment is actually wrong here. see the path fragment the, so this is what was printed yeah it is reversed why
spec dev. Let me try to let, let me remove the other IO inspects here. Make it whoops. Yeah. This way it's better to debug. So if you have any question, feel free to 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 ask during the, the live. I'm kind of really debug solving here. Yeah, all right. Now it, it's right. The path here is right. Oh. Totally. <laughs> uh, let me run the tests and it should pass. It passed. So yeah, basically Joseph Valin's work is as expected. Uh, very, it, it works, right? <laughs> and I don't need these other two functions there. I also need to implement the check that he mentioned for this kind of code, right? So yeah, do you want me to test that? What I want, uh, so on the tests here, so I do expect that this uh, goes back to the default expand, which would be the expand for is underline, right? So actually, why bothering? Saving on another var, right? If I could check like this, that it's the same. And let me see. It works like it's it expanded to is mostly because uh, it found this before actually finding. I'm just curious. Is that? Test something. Yeah, that that's invalid. But today, it also doesn't autocomplete. So, because you can't do this, probably. I think it's safe to do the way it's right now. I'm just thinking maybe not. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's go with that. So the change removed these two huge functions that kind of checked it if it was a function uh, if it was like an open string or not right because right uh, before we we were gathering everything that was inside the open string but right now it's just going to autocomplete if uh, the open string starts with slash which then we know it's like the autocompletion for, for absolute paths or slash and dot, like dot slash, right? Which we know is the autocomplete, it's, it's going to trigger the autocomplete for relative paths. So everything else, it's not, to, it's not going to, to trigger autocomplete to, autocompletion to, to paths. And for closed strings, if we find any string char, like any quote that is not preceded by the slash or the dot slash, we are going to return it 
like return the empty string which is like there's no path to autocomplete so it's going to go anyway so yeah I guess it made it made also a lot simpler um, auto completing paths only for strings started with or that's it let me push it so all right this is done this is done let me mark I did this. <laughs> I did this. Uh, so, next thing is to actually check this. Like, we can't use file CD on a sync true, as that is global, right? So, it's going to change everything. It could break other tests, right? The file, file CD is going to change the current directory for all processes and other processes that could rely on the directory itself uh, could make it not work. So we should always revert back if we need file CD for the tests and move it to a separate model that does not have async true. <coughs> I'm thinking maybe Maybe we actually don't need it to be. Maybe we don't need it to be checking because right now, what, why we do that? Basically, this tag temp deer here creates a temporary di directory for this. Th this is a very cool feature, also. Like, not sure if you knew that. But if you need like this, some files during your test, you can just put this at tag temp dir. It's going to create a directory with this name inside like this temporary directory. And uh, it's going to assign the name of this directory here. So you can actually do this, for example, and CD this directory and create a bunch of files. It's pretty cool. Uh, but the thing the thing is as he said if i do this it's going to change all the the the, the, the current directory for all the tests and so all other tests that are relying on relative paths like this are probably going to fail because of this uh what i'm going to do is because um, this test this test here is actually Testing, testing testing the path of completion for this right and what I could do is what could I do actually Maybe I could do the same he suggested in here, right? Instead of hard, co hard coding it, like hard coding these asserts, I could just do file ls and check like if the two, the, the two results match, right? Like the, what was returned in here and what was returned by file ls. So I'm gonna start by doing this, uh, like by fixing this suggestion <coughs> and see how that goes, right? So, uh, here's the list. We assert it is a list, and we do assert the list equals. Uh, I don't need them to actually assert it. it equals file dot ls. Uh, right. So then I can remove everything here because file ls file dot ls with the bang for what. All right. Uh, file ls with a bang like and do this. It's going to return the list of all files, which should be the list of 
things that should be returned as the autocompletion suggestions, right? For when you just type this. So, yeah. Oops. That should pass. <coughs> and it didn't. Oh, because, right. I have to convert all of those typing I think that when you you do pipe like it doesn't make sense to do only one pipe and the first element of the pipe itself should be like a row value so it, it looks nicer in my opinion but I mean I know dot map uh, I guess it's uh, to char list, maybe string dot to char list. Oops, one. Uh, it should work. Yeah. So cool, 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 cool. So yeah, that's this suggestion done. Let me try the other one. We already have code that does this. I believe that. Oh, this is actually not related to tests. So I'm going to jump to the, the first first one, which is related to tests. So, okay, back to it. No file CD. Let me just check the time. All right, I have 45 minutes, around 45 minutes still. So I guess it's okay. Uh, we should not do the file CD. Instead, if we want to do this, a sync here should be false, right? But then we also don't want to, to it to be false because then it makes tests slower. Like uh, all these tests on this module should be uh, considered, uh, would be considered uh, not async and will be executed <coughs> uh, like sequentially and not with uh, and no other tests that we're going to run on other threads, for example, other schedules. So we don't want that. I want, basically, what I want to do is something like this, then. Right. Why not, right? So then I don't need to actually, and the problem is then, All right, I have to touch. Various stuff going through my head right now. So because like, okay, if this is going to this best. Okay. So not 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 actually sure if we should do this whole thing here, but uh, still, I guess it's okay. I'm, what I'm going to do is this. Uh, oops. Yeah. I'm trying to record a macro, so that's why I'm kind of slow, like trying to think of everything. Yeah. All right, so why did I do that? Mostly because I want this there, then I'm going to add it on all the lines there. This, and I'm going to delete all of these lines and put some, oops. All right, this, this is going to touch all files from inside the temp tier. Uh, the only thing is that then now it's not the current directory here. 
the actual is that possible right so hello and does hello oops <laughs> v it is possible yeah there is interpolation on Travis so yeah I think right. see oops there yeah this should work yeah totally worked <laughs> cool so and it is checking the relative thing right it is checking all of those uh, crazy completions like completing it to the single file completing to like to fight yo and suggesting two or one as uh, the options and completing the deer with the slash afterwards completing the uh, <coughs> the files inside a deer and not completing for 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 when you you actually have this uh, crunch curly bra braces right and actually completing to the code itself which is cool yeah um, fixing tests actually implementing Zevalin some sort right this is similar we should just reuse that so uh, he's mentioned line six to seven uh, oops I guess it is this one and this one so we said format expansion what format expansion says all right format expansion gets the the empty if it's unique he returns it returns yes the at the hint and if it's not unique it does yes for for all the other so yeah basically what he is saying all this code is useless <laughs> uh, maybe just the hint actually dfp format expansions format expansion has two parents the hint is is useful actually let me see other places that it's called spend map field access map field where does the hint come from expand require where does the hint come from come on actually maybe maybe I could say from an expansion expansions and the hint is nothing actually the hint is the path fragment yeah <clears throat> let me see what is the hint right guessing is never a good option <laughs> so the hint will be returned from code course and context code course and context and it will be 
in that case, nothing, right? Because it's not completable. But like for code dot the hint here is code, right? Like it, it returns alias alias. Oh, right. There's no hint for alias. Code dot uh, cursor. It will return cu as the hint. <laughs> Do not say the Portuguese bad word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the hint is kind of uh, the start of it. Not sure what should be the hint for us. Maybe uh, this this is done inside format expansion, and the hint is maybe the directory. Going to be done there. Let's see. If I really don't care much. Yeah, didn't. Why didn't it? Oh, because expansions is a uh, has two lists. It's a uh, actually a list of uh, two uh, the tuple size, like two 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 size tuples. <sighs> Uh, and it should be just a list of the actual completions, right? Why, why the file names are oh, the completions? Why are the file names used? Maybe I just need the this completion part. Maybe it's useless. Maybe I just need the file names. Let me see. Because then format expansion already does that. You attempted to apply name on file two? Where? How to complete 316. Mm, all right, so expansions are actually a structure. Right, I have to build this struct format expansion, expansion. Kind name and narity. So what does the format expect? Format expansions here expect. It expects it to be a and if it's not expects it to be a list with just one and then it converts it to hint and which just gets the kind module name kind all right so <coughs> what i should do and it's in the end of the file or not where is my function now <laughs> all right I, I thought it was commented here so basically what i should do is to say is a path the name of it is the completion part and maybe I want the so then this uh, the format expansion would know how to deal with it. Uh, I mean, not yet, but I can implement that. So, for an expansion, to hint, to hint, 
module map kind kind in function map key module variable format int is just going to format int the name and hint name hint size by size hint by binary hmm. what okay I got stuck with control pressed sometimes my my keyboard play me some tricks uh, and if it's a path I also just format the hint and that's it so format expansion expansions there's no hint Also, for when it, for when there's that, that will be it for the the unique one. But for the multiple one, so the the, the binary, I go through the names. I go through the entries, get the name. Oh, here, this is the place that does the comp completion so yeah this is the completions and that's the prefix actually I I don't think I need the file name why is it separated like before why do I need the file names there maybe maybe I don't need it at all all right This is going to work, of course, because it's returning the case. No, it's not, because <laughs> it's not uh, a tuple anymore. But still, um, what it does, it gets the completions and the file names. The completions is the thing that is getting me. Not sure what is the completion part here. So. It replaces the full path with what is already entered. Like basically, it removes the already entered part of the full paths. That's that's actually not even needed. So, and if it's a deer, it just hits a backslash. And if it's not a deer, it hits the. Uh, it shows the, uh, not the backslash. There's no more slash. If it's, it's not a deer, that appends the the quote. What are you going to do? But there, there's been a lot of frame drops. Is there everything working there? Because like, I'm not sure. Like, please comment on the. <coughs> On the chat, if you think the it's getting bad, the connection there. Hmm. I think this is not even needed. Like all this work to to remove it from the beginning, it's already done by this format expansion. I just need to to actually say if dear it's a all right thanks me jar it's a dear else it's a file and then 
I just place, place the whole path here. Or the full path. The path. What? This is kind of very crazy. Like the possible paths. This is the paths that I care. And it returns the actual path and the deer. So the possible paths. We go through the if it's path or deer. The path fragments is what was already typed. So I don't care about it. It's just path. Path base name path, actually. <coughs> Let me just refactor this to uh, this. What? Why did it? All right, I know why. Actually, this is indented straight with the pipe, not straight with the function. So, yeah, these expansions here, they can die. What I need to do back is on the format hint then. If it's a path, if the kind, oops, wrong. If the kind is a directory, I do I do just complete it with. Do format hint name hint. Oops. And a slash in the end. But if it's a file, I'm not sure if this is going to to be the correct way to do it. If it's a file. I might need to actually dig a, a, a bit more on this. Right, there was an error. An expected comma. Princes are required. Where? To hist, to hint actually. So the complete C center four here. I think this is the problem. when name equals equals hint when name equals equals hint right there was an error for an expansion hmm yeah I probably have to undo a lot and check my my code to actually use this 
format hint stuff and or this is kind of it's a kind of big refactor I guess all right this is the code as it was before and this is kind of replicating a work that is already done by other functions that already exist here mostly because the initial work for this was uh, done by Frank Hunleff on another library not the Elixir core so uh, I, I basically just copied that and what he did was basically copy some of the, the internal functionality that IEX autocomplete module already has right so because he couldn't use it uh, because they were private functions right I think what I have to do is start up by actually uh, Dang, man, I think this find possible paths would already need to, to return the, the thing like this. So the name is the path. And the kind should be that thing right I done there. If file do here as file I think this should be enough actually all right so it's going to return the find the possible paths is going to return a list of maps with kind and name attributes right and expand path is going to go through that list of paths and adding completion part for each one and the char list for each one i just need to to actually understand better the format expansion oops format expansion there what should be the hint there because I think the hint should be the, the part. The actual path that the user typed so far. Yeah, it is. The, it is the actual path the user typed so far. Uh, expand path. Right, so this completion part here doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and also here I can just put the path base name, also path base name. And actually, all this could be simplified like this. Path fragment is the hint. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just not sure if I shouldn't actually if I if the format expansion accepts the binary if I'm not mistaken it doesn't it expects uh, the hint to be to be to hint hmm. the name there not sure though I guess the name also expect it to be from a hint yeah so the name and the hint 
should be lists and not All right, so here, here we go. I just converted to actually do the ls prefix. And I do not need this anymore, but I do need to convert all the base names here to string dot to list. Yeah, let me see if it compiles. It's a good. So find possible paths is not needed anymore. And path fragment. Path fragment is unused where? All right, it's a variable from find possible paths. Yeah, it's the part from, from that. And I have to do to, do to add that back though to hint here. I have to do the same for key and files for deer and file. If it's a deer, I do add the last I mean, name and hint should be equal, right? And if it's a file, I should add the quote. Good, 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 good. That should not throw any other exception except the replacing autocomplete. All right, uh, from expansion two, byte size of this whole thingy here. Why not? Like, I hate this argument error function, uh, uh, argument error, errors. <laughs> I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, like why why is this not valid ix Erlang byte size there's no help probably module has compiled without dots okay byte size one two three argument error where is this code byte size there? 317, 317. Actually, the hint, it looks like the hint should be a binary, right? Because if it's binary byte size, if it's this, yeah, I, I do not have to convert it to the char list again. To char list. Oh. I was exactly on the same line. And I can go party. No, not yet. It, it does still. Oh. Here should be string two, maybe here. So yeah, that fragment should be always a string. All right. Hint. To hint. To hint. To hint. To hint. To hint. Oops. Here. It's a function map key module variable directory or or file, right? Because if it's not the complete name, the hint is not the complete name. I still have to. To that bin elixir 
Oops. Oh, two entries is another one. But yeah, still, I have to add it here. Because I'm just matching for when name and hint is the same to I actually add the quote or the slash by the end. So, two entries. Kind name, where name in map, model when it's function, dear or file, dial, file. Sometimes compiling that every time is per. All right, binary part, single one, 97, minus 90, what? That is wrong. Oh, I think it's not the base name. I, I need the, the whole name actually. Tab dot base name. By the, the size of a string that is wanting to cut, right? It probably is the whole absolute path. And I don't need only the base name of the file, like the actual file name. Oh, I need to recompile. All right. Oh, all right. <laughs> the problem, the problem then is that. Yeah, I need the uh, I need the base name for the path. To actually, this is the, the what's going to be used for auto completion. Oh, let me see. To hint is the place that is actually formatting it. Formatting hints like in size, and it takes the binary part. So the name was short and the hint was big. So the problem was actually the hint. For the hint, I actually need to get only the, the last part of the string. Like, the, like for here, I would need to, to get only the last characters until the final slash. So, what I'm going to do is to cut it. I always forget how to do that with, I mean, I should do the binary part thingy, which they are doing here, binary, 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 binary <laughs> part. I get the name. Let me see how they use it. The name, the size of the hint, so it cuts the hint as the byte size of name. Hmm. So I have to cut everything until the last. What I can do is that as I am already doing it in here. I think I'm going to do exactly, let me rename this function. I don't need two functions for that. Like D. So I'm gonna 
go back and do exactly what Jose Valin said. None, none, that fragment. And here it's uh, OK and uh, the thingy. OK and the thingy. Oops, and here, none. OK, so uh, the thing is that I need another return. So it's going to return not just the thingy, it's OK, the thingy and the hint, right? So here I'm going to accumulate the hint until it gets to the first slash. Oh, then, then it's going to get quite complex because then I'm going to be accumulating two things and I I need to signalize yeah the hint is uh, is done like I, I already hit the first slash so I, I'm gonna need two functions for that probably the best would try would be to try oops This one I'm going to do. The best would be to try to, to extract it from like using the binary part there. Hmm. I'm just not sure how to. Here, I have to extract from binary, from path fragment here. I have to kind of do this like, uh, I think there is like this slice. That does a fragment, but I don't want the slice. I want the split or something like that. Or kind of, I want the slice, but by uh, the character that I want to slice it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, the best would be to actually write that thing I was going to write before. But unfortunately, I'm not going to have time for that today because it's already time to, to wake up my child. But anyways, this is already a start on the, the, the thing that he suggested. I just have to take notes of where I left off and maybe I'm going to do another life tomorrow to finish it, right? So hopefully, hopefully we're going to make it work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, probably you could, you could help me maybe think during this time and come back tomorrow afternoon and check with me how can we do but yeah not sure if you totally understand it but i have to rewrite this path fragment function so it just it doesn't as for today it returns the whole path that the user typed and that's it so if there's not a path it returns an empty list and if it there is a path relative or absolute path it's going to return the whole thing. So, and let's just, just show you. It's going to return like, and this, oops. It's going to, to return everything I typed so far, right? But the problem with that is that then it's going to show like auto completion for the whole thing and not just the, the file name. And that's not very pleasant, right? So, for example, this is the problem. Like, it's returning for the whole thing, and if, if I type lib, 
elixir, you know, like I could totally remove this start here. So what, what should happen is that instead of actually returning the whole thing, I should return only whatever I typed before the, uh, like whatever I typed after the last slash, right? But it also should return the whole path. Like it should return the whole path and the hint, which is just this, right? That's it. Like uh, here on the last prefix, I guess, I guess, I guess it actually already does it somehow because if you do this like uh, file.ls, which is done here by the, the, the directory like dot slash lead dot elixir slash e, it's not going to work. I need to actually remove this to actually work, right? So this ls prefix here is already doing that somehow. Oh. Maybe this ls prefix should return it then. Oh, here. The ls prefix actually returns the whole path. So the hint, the hint should be. That that's the good thing about doing stuff on live because. While explaining to you, I get <laughs> hints of how to actually do it from myself. <laughs> so, oh, prefix from deer. No, that's not the function I want. Oh, here, right. The deer name. And I just need to remove the deer name. Ha. Huh. So, yeah, dear name for breakfast fragment, and I maybe can even say fragment. Right, join the prefix. Not sure why, why that is done actually, right? Because if the deer is dot and C does not start with dot, like, and the, the, the fragment does not start with dot, the prefix is nothing. Otherwise, the prefix is something. Because this prefix is added to all the, the paths. The filter here starts with. So I can put the directory here and send it as a parameter here. Deer size equals byte size of deer. Uh, actually, just try out that is uh, what's the path dot deer name lib elixir d oh right so i want to take it all from right binary What's the, the actual binary part? Like I want the binary part from path fragment. That is dear until uh, the byte size of like path size. Size equals byte size of the path. Let me 
just rename this to the pep so we have clearer names pef until the pef size actually dear size minus the pep size because then it's going to return a negative number Like the fragment, all right, it compiled and fingers crossed. Oh, by the path fragment, that's the problem. Path fragment. Path. If it doesn't work, I'm going, yes. So yeah, the problem here is that, uh, the problem here is that. <laughs> I am taking too much out here. There's size minus one. No. Oh, I actually need to go one more here, minus one. Yeah. This one actually. <laughs> The, the thing about the end quote should be basically long. You should not go straight to put in the quote. It should only put the quote if I hit the exact same and then tab. That's how it does for other completions. Oops. Two unique entries. Two unique entries. Two unique entries. If it's a module, variable, or map key, it doesn't mind. If it's a function, it goes to two entries. I guess for a file and a directory, it does the same. So here is the problem. It's not putting the two hint. The day that I just said I needed to to n and got <laughs> caught by it again. Let's try try it out. Try it out. Just five more minutes. Hopefully you're gonna get. We're gonna get to the end of it. So if the name is exactly equals the hint. The problem is uh, probably it's not exactly equal to hint here. If it's unique and the name is exactly equal to hint, oh, the problem. Uh, format expansion. Name. I am doing the base name. I think we actually.
So to give you an example, the thing is that I would expect it to, people would expect it to, olha o sonho, freguesia. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I'm outside, kind of, uh, the outside of my house, so <laughs> we can hear the streets there. <laughs> Are you missing the, the sonho, Ninjar? <laughs> olha o sonho. Ooh, uh, exception is not good. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to do. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, kind of every live we get some something funny happening. All right, I'm not going to finish it today, guys. Sorry, because I need to go, really. And I'm not seeing the end of it very soon because this, this binary part here for, for it, it looks like it's not working because the... Oh, 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 oh. Plus one. <laughs> And here you get plus one, two. Okay, but at least now, at least now it's not going to, yeah. Oh, the problem is, yeah. I think that's, that's it for today. And, boy, argument error. I tried to get the binary part from dot slash lib minus three should just cut lib not sure so 605 Two to minus two, or is it inversed? Uh, am I doing it inversed? Minus two. No, I, I want it from two to five, basically. Four. One. L. Oh, it's the size. Yeah, it's the size of the stuff. So it's not negative. So it's the path size minus the deer size. Plus one. And for the second time, I said I was going and I'm not. <laughs> oh, and now it completed it. Yeah, it did. Cool. It did. It, it went through this. The problem is here now. No, the problem is here now. <laughs> because binary part, blah, blah, blah. blah. Ninety four two. Let's 
just test this one. Oops. Yeah, it's not two. It's, uh, it's because I have to take D1 plus dump, but yeah. Yep. Oli, but if I one, if I two. Ali, I want five two. Okay, now now you see we got through this one. We're getting closer and closer. So here also I'm pretty much sure that I need to hit the whole deer, right? Oh, the problem is here right now. This should complete to L E but you should also say like the two options right that are file one and file two the problem is in here let me tell you binding right the p format expansion is going to fall on this one io dot inspect binding i'm really intrigued by this one all right so let's see the one that failed here so the entries are five two files file one and file two The first is file file two, and the hint is five. That all makes sense. So the binary would be file two, file one. All right. The byte size for the hint would be two. The prefix would be five. Right. F I, which is the longest from our binary. The longest common prefix from our binaries. So if the prefix is in zero len, like there's no prefix or it's the exact same as the hint, it shows yes for no autocompletion. What is this? No, 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 no. The prefix is not le, is it? The 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 prefix is phi is going to complete the le. So the the prefix here is going to be le, not fi. So it goes through. So the prefix is not zero. The prefix is oh. It actually. Oh, it's going to say. Phi-O, the, so then it, it's going to fall in here. Actually, I could do it a lot better, right? No, um, let me just put in here and compile execute and check the error here so okay the prefix is 4 okay the length is also 4 length of the hint what is the hint put underline what Oh, of course, it's hard to test like this because uh, let me see the f deer is probably ah, here, 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 okay. Sorry, here's two and the prefix is four. So it's going to enter here. 
first.name is file2. It's going to get uh, the prefix from file2, which is file. Right? And it's going to return empty. Why empty? That's uh, wrong. I guess that's just wrong. Oh, let me test. So, as all right, so if I hit tab again, it has the point. So, let me see get attribute tab again, it's going to show the view. So, true, 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 true. It's actually right. It never auto completes and show uh, the suggestion at the same time. So you have to re hit tab twice. Pretty cool. Like basically what we are doing is discovering bugs by implementing it the way that Joseph Alin Mascoli actually asked us to do. All right. File, file three, file four, right? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba the same. No, oh, right. I don't have to recompile that. And expand. Why? This should be. All right, so there is uh, another argument error happening for here. Path here. This is the binary part that's not working. So. The for slash would be one, so two. That's where this two come from. And the path size at all would be zero or one. Path size comes from the actual typed. No, the dear size and the path size are equal actually. Path size should be the whole path, right? The there is slash and the path is slash. So the path like size is one minus two minus one. That's that makes sense. So I extract a path hint like path hint. What? All right. Path hint. The path hint should take the path and the directory. And I'm going to take this. Oops. Here, FP path hint should be path and directory. I'm going to take the path size and their size to inside this actual. So if path and uh, path size equals deer size the actual hint is nothing else I just this should do it or it should bite size of an empty 
list what three hundred seventeen the what Three hundred and seventeen. All right. It's actually a binary, not a list. <laughs> the sun is just cutting my face in half. That happens at four a.m. At four a.m. <laughs> four p.m. Yes, that's it, man. We finished doing the refactor. Format expansion. As suggested by Jose Valim. Hopefully this is this is it then. Let's resolve these conversations. And mentions Jose Valim. What how can I say that? Actually, let's not bother him, right? Just and some winks. <sighs> All right, I think this is it. Um, now I'm quite happy with the final result actually, because during files, to hint, with the hint. So let me test manually some stuff. But I hit dot slash is going to say and like a lot of files that I could complete. If I say L, it's going to autocomplete to lib. Then I hit tab again, it's going to autocomplete the slash. If I hit tab again, it's going to say what I can out, what I can autocomplete it with and E, L, cool, mix. Perfect, perfect. That's, uh, really, really, I'm really happy with how this all ended up. I mean, I, I, I think this is the biggest contribution I did so far to the Elixir core. And yeah, let's, let's hope it gets merged soon. It, it <laughs> I suspect there were more discussion, discussion in back and forth than actual code. But like I learned a lot. Hopefully you guys learned something with it i don't know like with this last three or four lives that i did doing this so yeah probably next live we we're not going to talk about this anymore <laughs> let's see so yeah thank you for joining me j freitas josué minjar king corono uh thank you all and hopefully our next live is going to be on something else that's also as cool as this one so 
See you guys. Bye.